game is called it's a little bit janky so there's a lot of jankiness in this game a very very indie game uh it's called corin stevenson paranormal pi uh you guys probably all know it's only master volume by the way oh we'll, <laughs> we'll take it like this you all know people um the p stands for penis uh, I, I'm not sure. I hope not. I don't want to investigate penises. But I'm 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 ready for everything. So yeah, you guys know this. Um, the phasmophobia has been a trend for a few years now, and this is basically a single-player version of that kind of game. You have all your tools, you're sent to investigate some places, and you have to decide if there is some paranormal stuff going on. So, yeah, that's that's the gist of it. However, I think there are bits and pieces of stories as well as, like, a little bit more than um, the arcadiness of the game, of the genre. In my youth, I experienced something so terrifying it froze my soul. Oh, there you go. I was unable to scream or run. I just stood frozen and gazing at a horror that I can only explain as being paranormal. As time passed, I was able to transform my terror into curiosity, which then turned into obsession. As I searched for answers, I discovered I was not alone with my experience. I was determined to help those folks who retain the fear that I felt. Before I knew it, I was developing a reputation in the field of paranormal research. I developed a website and merchandise, hoping to spread the word and earn a bit of cash. Even the merchandise. Allowing me to pursue this obsession full time. I bought this property to act as my paranormal headquarters. It has more space than what's needed for now, but as I continue investigating, I can grow into it. The goal for my paranormal headquarters is to have a robust merchandise shop <laughs> and a paranormal is the main goal. museum. I hope the income earned from the tiny shop and museum ensures my business is sustainable. The Paranormal Museum will allow folks to see haunted relics and gain insight on why ghosts inhabit a home or location. We're not here to help people, we're here to make money, alright? I hope you guys understand this is a business, this is not like a charity. Uh, but your project object that you can interact with hand hiking will appear, notifying that you are able to do so to interact with an object. You must line the crosser up with the object. Once the crosser is glowing, press the interact button to interact with it. Okay, you can get it. This is my shirt. <laughs> we have three sizes, really. We don't accommodate many different sizes. Uh, only a small, a medium, and a large. Like a very small large, apparently. We have already the first cursed object. We have a mirror that doesn't reflect anything. That is truly a marvel. We have some mugs. Well, I don't know if I could have a mug that's black inside. I mean, I say, but I do have a full black mug. Whatever. We have a hat, which looks way, way too big for a normal head. We have this beautiful thing over here. Educators are embracing gaming as a learning tool, but one college professor went too far, reportedly being toxic to his students during the live streams. He parted up scenes about his pwnage. Oh my god. What a teacher. I should head to my office in the back and check my emails. Is this my office with the emails? No, that's the shop. What's that? I have no idea. Am I unable to interact with anything? <laughs> Uh, I think I need to lower my mouse sensitivity just a little bit. Okay, this is the museum. Let's go. Is this a sponsor stream? Man, I wish Conrad Stevenson himself would sponsor me. I would get the sponsorship. I'm trying to turn on the lights. I don't know. I literally just got the tutorial and I forgot about it instantly. Uh... Is it space bar? 
I thought it was cl In heck do I interact with this? Can I it's just not? Is this game free? No. It is fairly cheap though. Fairly cheap. Okay, we have some relics. Let's see. We have the doll mirror. Ooh, spooky. Attics and crawl spaces are among some of the greatest locations to find antiques, valuable collectibles, and the occasional possessed object. One such case is the opaque mirror placed before you. Surrounded by the smoothest of gold craftsmanship. You will be disappointed if you're expecting to see a reflection. Time has removed its sole ability. Donated by a new Eidolon resident, we're told that this mirror holds a connection to the other side. Oh. Once the viewer gazes long enough, symptoms of dizziness and hallucinations occur. Do you see the other side? Or are you hallucinating? I feel like I am hallucinating, actually. Uh, we have a bunch of local skulls. I see. Ooh, that's a tricky one. What the fuck is that? Most of the skulls in this case are real skulls found during paranormal investigations. The money cult were on the rise in the early 1980s. Skulls, along with other animal parts, were often used in rituals to summon demonic entities. It is believed that the summoned entity would bestow the summoner with specific powers. Most demonologists perceive the risk of becoming demonically possessed as a more likely scenario than receiving mystical powers. That's kind of... That, that's something they, didn't, they never advertise when you try to summon a demon, huh? You were paid, I feel like. Hey, give it time. We just started. We're not even, like, in the actual game itself. Discard the cloak. This cloak was donated by the local Paranormal Research Society. The team found this cloak snagged on a fence post within the North Cemetery adjacent to the Fellowship of the Congregational Church of New Eidolon. Originally uh, thought to be a hoax until scientific testing determined the cloth to be manufactured between 1835 and 1852. In testing, several assumptions about the cloak's origin have surfaced. The popular speculation is that this belonged to John Ulrich, who was a grave robber in the mid-1800s. It is believed that his spirit still haunts the cemetery. Oh, okay. We have the Book of Corpses. This ancient book was discovered during a sewer excavation near St. Eu, uh, near St. Joseph Cathedral in the historical district of New Eidolon. The contents of the red leather-bound book are handwritten in Latin and have a pro poetic format. That's what determined that the book catalogues how to interact with the dead in various scenarios. For example, stanza 134 describes how to interact with the supernatural gatekeeper, O thou gates who preserveth the conversion of realm for thy lords, and knoweth thy name, give me leave to commune thy gates. Right. And then we have the ancient warrior, which is a rock. This representation of the Atlantean figures is but a fraction of the actual size. The actual statues stand over 15 feet tall, are carved from various stones, and would have been an incredible undertaking for a skilled sculptor. The site where they reside is said to have cosmic powers due to their acute astrological alignment. Although the statue before you is just a small replica, it is allegedly it allegedly still gives those who touch it protection from evil and grants spiritual strength. So please reach over and touch it. Oh, touch this. Okay. I Imagine I did touch it. Alright, where's my office? Is that the office in the back? My office? Staff only. Oh, I think I found the interact button. Hang on a second. Ah, okay, it works. Okay, cool. This is my office. Welcome. I've lived here my whole life, but I still like to look at the map before heading to an investigation. Of course, of course. Close the door. You never know. Might be a psycho. We have a coffee machine. We have a... What is this? A water cooler. Nice. Very nice. A printer and the map of the city. You can see all the different places we can visit, probably. Maybe. We have a very weird looking toilet that has, I don't know why it has so much empty space. I feel like it could have fit like a shower in this corner, like a big one. But uh, apparently that's just, <laughs> that's just how I do things. Maybe I can't afford a shower, who knows. Sick toilet, great. And um, 
I should check out my gear to ensure everything is working correctly and charged. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have a paranormal gear here. We have a bunch of batteries, of course. Uh, we have a flashlight. Okay. Toggle the flashlight on and off with one. Just the battery operate the flashlight because we prefer to investigate at night in the dark. This is our primary means of light. I'll take it. Amazing. Uh, we also have a camera. An HD full spectrum camera with night vision. This ensures we are able to capture most subtle materialization. Investigators are encouraged to take as many photos as needed, but they will only update their notes when a photo of something paranormal has been captured. Some investigators believe that darkness can enhance a ghost's ability to manifest. All right. Take a photo with space and use night vision. Let's see. Okay, got it. Then we have an audio recorder. A common digital recorder, unlike the industry standard, though, we do not leave this device on all night. Our investigators will turn on the recorder for five seconds intervals. You record some audio, the, some ghostly sounds, such as distant bells or chimes, may not be captured with the recorder, but are obviously a sign of paranormal activity. Investigators may choose to perform an electronic voice phenomenon, EVP session. The sessions they can ask a spirit a specific question while leaving the recorder on momentarily. They will then immediately play the audio back, determining if a disembodied voice was captured. This type of evidence is more convincing than other paranormal noises because it's a direct interaction between investigator and a ghost. Okay. So that's it. We can record audio for like five seconds. And then turn it off. Or we do like anyone here? Want to speak while I'm here? How many are here? Do you live here? Living presence? Why here? Name. So we can ask a bunch of questions to the ghost. Perfect. All right, we have a classic uh, EMF reader. Yeah, a meter for detecting electromagnetic fields. Because every electronic emits EMF, it's imperative to take notice of the location device and not jump to any conclusion. This is done by debunking. Once you have spent enough time reviewing the anomaly and determined it's not paranormal, it will be debunked. Once an investigator has found an EMF anomaly and spent an adequate amount of time revealing it, reviewing it, they will update the notes in their investigation journal. Okay. And finally, we have a temperature sensor, of course. A handle sensor for detecting cold spots after an investigator has found a cold spot and determined its boundary. They will update the notes in their investigation journal. All locations have a natural fluctuation in temperature, so it's key to take baseline readings. Based on the user performance, sorry, preference, temperature units can be changed from Fahrenheit to Celsius. I think I want that because I can't read Fahrenheit. How do I change to Celsius? There you go. And we have a bunch of batteries which power all of our tools. Great. Okay. Save some money. All right. Let's see. This is where the magic happens, guys. This is my battle station. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to check my emails and see if, uh, if we have a job. We have a wiki. It's a vast repository of information that will provide insight into many different topics pertaining to ghost hunting, okay? Divided into different categories, home location, spirit guide, demonology, and tutorials. Uh, okay, let's see. If you're able to take notes on certain areas of the wiki. You may only have six topics of interest written in your notebook. Okay, so we have to hunt for information. We have the slime, a supernatural logistic for investigative mechanism and equipment, of course. My XP is transferred here, which I can use to purchase new equipment. Very good, very good. I can buy flashlights. Buy a laser pen. Don't know why we would do that. A parabolic microphone. Some paraboxes, paravoxes, and all the classics. We can have a better camera. <laughs> and uh, we can... Get some exorcism tools like mugwort smudge sticks. And uh, that looks like it. Salt, of course. We need a lot of salt. But usually that's on the house when you, you're you watching Curie. Uh, the audio player, we can use it to analyze audio stuff, I think. Yeah. Whenever we record like noises and stuff like that. Uh, uh, let it, 
it's necessary it's best to do as much archival research as possible a set amount of archival information will be available once Corrod receives an email from the next client you will learn more about the location by picking up items found on site these items will be added to the archives review all collected material while reviewing the archives you will be able to hover over the text and add clues to your notes. This information will increase the chances of having a successful investigation. So it is a little bit of a back and forth. Like you go there, you collect some stuff, then you come back, you review the notes and the um, the material, and then you go back and you try to figure out what's going on. So I think we're ready. Before Conrad can visit the location, you must first be invited there. You will need to check your email regularly to see if you have new invitations. Okay. Uh, selecting clue to focus on is critical to having a successful investigation. Without properly focusing on specific clues, you may not be able to acquire proper evidence. You can view your notes by operating the PC by selecting the Note tab. Uh, that will be available in your notebook, so you'll have Andy at the location. You may only have six topics of interest in your notebook per investigation. Right. This is all a little bit complicated, but uh, it's going to be easy to understand as we play. So, Tammy Wentz is the first one. Dear Conrad, my family and I moved into our dream home on Evergreen Lane about a year ago. It's an old farmhouse without the rest of the farm property. The home has been renovated many times over the years, so it has a fresh and inviting feel. Unfortunately, however, my husband and I are convinced that the home is haunted. Oh. I believe I was the first to experience anything supernatural. I began hearing odd sounds like footsteps coming from upstairs while I was at home alone on the main floor. My husband would tell me he was just hearing things until he had an experience himself. He was in the garage a few months back and swears to have seen a man of average build suddenly appear. First he thought someone had broken into the garage but when he made eye contact with him he made a violent choking sound and vanished. Since then my husband has been more sympathetic to my concerns. Recently we started catching glimpses of a shadow moving out of the corner of our eyes. Once immediately after seeing the shadow, I hear a sinister disembodied voice. Uh, our youngest children who shares a room stated they have an imaginary friend who is a child about their age. Initially we thought this must have been imaginative play, but as we are experiencing these oddities, I'm fearful that they are all connected. We also have experienced kitchen items being thrown about. Sometimes we simply hear ruckus from the kitchen, but other times there really is a mess to be cleaned up. On one occasion, a jam jar mysteriously shattered on the floor. I went to grab a broom to clean the mess, but when I turned back around, the mess vanished and everything was put back into place. It doesn't seem like we are in any danger, but these events have our family all shaken up. Could you please help us? I know you prefer to do investigation overnight, so we'll make arrangements to ensure the house is available for you. I look forward to your response. Thank you. All right. Tammy Wentz. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can figure it out. All right. Let's put a bunch of items on the list. And, um, okay. Archives. See, now we have the archive of the property. We can check out the house. Let's see. Uh, new Idolon property history, Blackridge Woods. Okay, so these are the owners. Uh, the Wentz or the current owners. We have the Hortons, the Browns, the Martins, the Kramers, and the Bennett. Uh, defaulted the Kramer. What does that mean, defaulted? Does that mean they died? Purchase sold, purchase sold, purchase sold. So, people bought it and then sold it. But the Kramers bought it and then defaulted. I don't know what that means. We have a statement... We have a Department of Inspection, owner, First Bank of New Idol and Occupant, Stephen Angie Bennett. So that's uh, the first owners. Okay. 111 Green Lane, Lot 5, Section 100, Satoshi Black Ridge, blah, blah, blah. Remodeling and alteration. Front and rear facing porches, master bathroom to replace original bedroom. Walk in closet of master bathroom, second story addition. The fault may mean they didn't pay the mortgage payments. Oh, okay, fair enough. And the basement egress to be sealed. Huh? Why would they seal the basement? 
For sale. Auction May 10th. Furniture, furnishing, drapes, piano, rugs, and all the furnishings in Sheets Estate formerly belonging to Charles and Dorothy Sheets. That's way before. Come early. Chance of a lifetime. All right. Uh, oh. Okay, we have information on ghosts. Procedurals. Intelligent ghosts. I don't like that. Altergeists and demons. Yes, very good. Uh, there's a guide to demonology. What the fuck? There's a white horse, the red horse, the black horse, and the pale horse. We probably do not want to encounter these people because they will kill us. I think you can die in this game, by the way. Well, uh, we got what we need. Let's just start investigating. House, where's the house? This is the... Ah, Evergreen Lane. It's so freaking far out in the middle of nowhere. Why would you ever... Dream home my ass. Want to investigate this location? Sure. <laughs> yeah. I guess I, I guess I want to. It seems like the Wentz family isn't worried about their safety. Although it does seem like they're pretty startled when experiencing something they think is paranormal. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. But here's the thing though. What do you do if you actually find that the place is haunted? I just sell it, but like... At some point, somebody has to do something about it. You can't just sell it to another person and basically tell them, you're, you're it now. <laughs> A lovely, lovely property, however. God, it's dark out here. Hang on, it may be a little too dark. Do we have a... Uh... We don't have... Any brightness things. Uh, I may just turn it up a little bit on stream for you guys because it might be just a little too dark for you. Let's see. All right, let me turn up this a little bit. Oh, Jesus, that's... <laughs> that's very heavy. Hang on a second. Okay, that should be better for you guys now. Be just a tiny bit... Is it, is it too much? It actually looks too much outside of the... Um, of the menu. Can I do it? Well, we are in-game because I feel like I need that. There we go. Is that better? I want it bright, but I don't want it, like... Like it looks like there's a sheen. I think that's... good. I mean, you can see more than I can see at the moment, so I think it's fine. Are you... You guys can see whatever is there, that line. I have no idea what that is because I can't see that line, but you guys can, so... I guess that's okay for now. Anyway, uh, lovely property. Is there anything outside here? Oh, it's a wall. Of course it is. 
There's a door to the side of the house. There's a porch right here. We should have the keys, right? All right, lovely house, lovely house. Okay. And very big living room. This is usually more fun with the lights off. Yeah, Conrad, but like, uh, let's take it easy, okay? I mean, I, I know what you mean, but one thing at a time, my guy. We have a This is weird. Like, you enter the house, there's a living room, and immediately there's a bedroom. Seems very weird to me. Can I crouch in this game? Probably not. Okay. There's a bathroom. Where's the light switch? I don't see anything. Alright, there we go. Wow, dude, this is... It's a big house. I can see why they say it's a, it's a dream home, you know? Oh my god, look at the fancy bathroom here. What the fuck? I've never seen this combo, like... Shower side with shelf and bathtub. Holy crap, this is really fancy. Have a walk in closet, even. That's not normal. It has to be paranormal. Was that there before? That's fine. Uh. Man, that's a big closet, Jesus. Okay. What's that? What is that outside? What's that? I don't know. But uh, it seems like everything seems normal here. Okay. Enough the light. What was that? Hello? Sure, it's fine. Totally fine. What's on TV today? <laughs> okay, we can't check the TV now. We already have uh, some sounds. The side entrance, and that's the fuck that. Yeah, no. Oh, oh my fucking Christ! Wow, I, I took a photo of a ghost. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I watched a little bit of this game before and I swear to god it didn't take it took way longer to see anything spooky why am I being assaulted instantly by a ghost I've seen people play for like half an hour without anything happening and I'm literally in the house for like 5 seconds and I get a ghost screaming at my face what the fuck alright uh, did it, did they say help me though? Because you know, I, that, that 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 would be fine. I mean, they they just need help, guys. Yeah, nah. Just need a little bit of help. This is the kitchen, so we have something in the kitchen, right? Kitchen knife is being thrown around, I see. There's a man in the garage, footsteps upstairs, a ghost of a young child, shadows moving around. We saw the shadows, for sure. I should probably have, um... Like this on. Oh! The fuck? Huh? 
I'm getting some EMF. Okay, this is the fridge. That's the fridge is fine. But we get something that's not the fridge. And not the lights. Okay, there's something here. I don't know what it is, but there is something there. But it's probably electro normal electronics. That's the microwave. There's a power plug, probably. Oh. What temperatures around here? 20 degrees, that's normal. The pretty average uh, temperature for the house, I suppose. What? I think I recorded- Ooh, That is eerie audio evidence. I'm almost whispering. Ah. Oh. Fine, guys, it's fine. But this kitchen. Fucking kitchen. Uh, okay, so we have audio data. I have obtained one piece of audio evidence that cannot be explained. Yeah, but the photograph taken during this investigation displays profound evidence of paranormal activity at this location. Right, we need EMF readings. And we need some sort of temperature reading as well. Toilet. Normal toilet. That's the machines, of course. Log. That. the outside and that's a garage there's something spooky in the garage right a man appears in the garage yeah i don't want <laughs> fuck how rare to take a photo of a ghost apparently not that rare oh it's just a fine looks like just a cold spot yeah nothing paranormal Okay, that's going down. 15. But okay. D19, just a cold spot. NT. Jesus Christ, these guys just walk around in with the lights on. What the fuck happens when I turn off the lights? I don't know what that does. All right. Incredible, a photo of an entity. Ah, man, I was trying to go for the for the recorder. I mean, the ghosts seem very active here in this zone, the kitchen zone. So let's ask a couple of questions, see if uh, if they say anything. How does that work? I press E. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is 
there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Nothing. Are you hungry? <laughs> I don't think I can ask that. Uh, is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? Don't think this guy. Do you know why I'm here? I mean, he loves to scream in my face, but when it comes to answering questions, nah. -uh. Oh. Oh. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. Noticing some abnormal readings. I should spend some more time in this area. Oh. Shit. Do it again. Oh, that's just cold thoughts. The fuck? Yo, do you think they can hear my microphone? I'm not sure. Don't know if if it's that kind of game, you know. What the fuck? The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Absolutely detect a paranormal activity. Absolutely. Is anyone here in the room with me? Hello? Do you want to make yourself known? Okay. Okay. Help me! That's extraordinary audio evidence. Um... I mean... Uh, uh, d uh, are they listening to me? I, I literally asked the guy and he showed up. He came right for me. What the fuck? Hello? Hello, my guy? Show yourself. Don't be, don't be afraid. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. I'm gonna come down to your basement now. I hope that's okay to you. Is, did they just say no? <laughs> Am I going to get murdered if I go down the basement? Okay, man, maybe we should talk about this a little bit, okay? Uh... Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Okay, uh, I'm coming down to the basement now. Don't kill me, please. Okay, are we cool? Is that a yes? Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Oh, fuck that. Oh, fuck this entire place. What the hell? What the fuck is... Th 
The death scared the shit out of me. Is anyone down here? Hello, Mrs. Spookson? These temp readings are unusual. This is fairly cool. What the fuck is that? I hope that's just a leak. Oh, bloody hell. Hello? Oh. Oh, wait, you turn on the lights by... Oh, there's a little... I don't see the cord, but I guess there is one. Okay. Just taking a look around, Mr. Guy. Don't don't eat my face, okay? Right. Jesus. Okay, that doesn't open. Fuck what that sound was. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Okay, we have evidence, I think. Oh, thanks for all the evidence. Can I explain? I have EMF absolutely detected paranormal. Temperature detected. There is no natural explanation for the temperature drops. This is evidence of paranormal activity. And we have a photo. Yo, I think we're good. Uh, I'm gonna do something stupid now. Alright, my guy. I'm just gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Hello? Are you here with me? Is this your home? Is this your home? Fuck. Okay. Uh... Do you like the current family living here? Do you? Like, the, these guys are a little bit... Do you like the current family living here? Is there even anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Or are they just upstairs? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I think I'm wasting my time down here. Okay, I'm going back upstairs now, okay? Don't spook me. Now, what did I just say? Put that back. Okay, we can't go around breaking glasses. That's a safety hazard, my guy. I just cannot help you with that. Uh, but uh, is it like... I mean, I I'm here, you know? I'm here if you want to speak to me. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? No, nothing. All right. Are you sure? Hello? I heard you. I heard you wailing again. All right, just, just co come on, man. Let me help you. If you show up, I can do something for you, okay? But you need to tell me what you need. And not throw glasses at me, possibly. All 
Oh, that's the outside. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I'm in your living room. My guy, do you want me to start insulting you? Because I will. I swear to God, I will just... Say real nasty things to you. Stop with the creaking boards, I swear to God. Should we go upstairs? Should we... Actually, let's uh, let's get the garage. Where's the garage? What? The fuck? Hello? What happened? What happened? Okay. I'm... Ooh, lovely. I'm going to take a look in the garage. There is a man in the garage. This? He field? Okay. All right. Take a look at the garage. Hello? I have been told there is a man in the garage. Is that... Ooh, this is a lovely office. Space. Man, I could do this. I could, I could have something like this. I don't to do a streaming room. Holy crap. My god. This garage is just bigger than my house. What's this? This item is a valuable piece of information that will be added to the archival database on the PC at your office. This item may also automatically unlock additional related archival information while reviewing the article on your PC at the office. You may be able to take notes on this item, which could facilitate the investigation. I see. Wait, I saw something here. Radio. What's this five EMF thing? I see. All right. I mean, they say there is a man here, but I. Hello. I don't see anybody. I don't feel anything. Are they lying to me? Is there no man in the garage? Okay. <laughs> okay, that kind of got me. I, uh, I I did not like that at all. <laughs> I didn't like how it was coming for me, like straight for me. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Good. Okay, there is a man in the garage after all. Uh, came from this room. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? <laughs> Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Oh, okay. You tell me your name. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Wow, that sounded like a response. That is very interesting. The fuck did they say Private Connor? Who? 
Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? You don't know. Why am I here? <laughs> Do you know why I'm here? <laughs> Do I know why I'm here? <laughs> they don't pay me enough, I can tell them that much. Do you know why I'm here? Uh, do you like the people that live here? Is this your home? Oh, that's not the question I wanted to ask. Is this your home? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Guess not. Right. Why would you do that? Why the fuck would you do that? Private Connor? I know you're a good guy, don't do that. Alright. Private Connor? Can you show yourself like you did before? Nice, uh. Nice picture. Hello? Private Connor? Private Connor? Private Connor. Show yourself. How did you know when you got enough evidence? I have no idea. I mean, it seems like I have a lot of evidence already. Private corner. Come on, man. You showed yourself once. Show yourself twice. Like, uh, do the trick again. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Bitch. What? Is that all you can do? Just open and close the door? Hey, what, man? That's not scary. You're not getting me with that. Is that another door you closed, huh? Why are you so afraid of doors? What the fucker? I dare you. Do it in front of me. <laughs> Ugh, don't think I got that. Shit, I pulled, all, I pulled the camera instead of the recorder. For, for fuck's sake, I'm going to... Hello? What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Private Connor. I am going to, uh... Why? That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. That's a ghost screaming, why me? All right, Private Connor. I feel like every time I touch the door, you do something, so I'm gonna piss you off. Okay. I'm gonna try to piss you off. Private Connor? 
I'm a Connor. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? For the love of God, please, I'm here. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Wow, that sounded like a response. That is very interesting. He said just me. What? Right. Connor? Private Connor? Take it easy, man. A very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Wow, that's great audio evidence. All right, Connor? He's in this room, isn't he? Private? Turn that. Keep that off. Private Connor? Hello? Don't do that. Don't turn on the lights. I swear to God, Connor. Connor, I need some EMF, my guy. Can you do something about that? Connor? Stop it. Stop it right now. Honor, I'm gonna get angry. But, but my Connor, <laughs> my guy. What the fuck? I'm a Connor. Turn off the light net right now. That's extraordinary audio evidence. It didn't progress the bar though, so I think we have all the audio evidence we need for Private Connor. Connor? Connor's not really one for EMF or cold spots, I don't think. Connor, does that radio PC off? Turn it off. I'm turning it back on. What you gonna do about it, huh, Connor? Do you feel like doing anything about that? Huh? Me turning on and off the radio? Is that pissing you off? Connor. Connor, I just need a picture for the camera, Connor. Do you show yourself of me on camera? Connor? 
Connor. For the love of God. Are you in here? Connor. Don't get out. I swear to God, Connor. Make me angry, Connor. Turn off the fucking light. Connor? Connor? I hate that you're not showing yourself, Connor. You did it once and never again. Why? I mean... Oh. Lights. I swear to God, Connor, I will take a picture of you. I don't care. Did you just turn on the light again? Oi. <laughs> Stop fighting me. Oh my God, Connor, I swear to God. Don't turn on this light again. Okay, so we got uh, we got some evidence. It's time to go upstairs, I think. There's a child ghost. Oh, while we're at it, let's uh. Take a look at this in the kitchen too. Supposed to be a poltergeist in here. I mean, it did throw glasses and shit, so it does sound like a, like a poltergeist. Hello? Oh. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Oh, it got something. I don't know what exactly. How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Is this your home? Is this your home? Oh, wow. That sounded like a response. Holy shit. That is very interesting. They said family. Why are you here? I love how calm my guy is. Like, Carl Stevenson Why is not faced by any of this. It's just like, wow, that's some really cool evidence. Maybe you are completely safe, I don't know. Hello? Just thinking about this bank balance. Yeah, I can see that. Hello? Is anybody here? Hello? Is there a ghost in this basement? Do you want to talk to me? Or do you want to show yourself? The basement is just nothing. Oh. oh fuck's sake. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Unusual noise? Somebody threw something at me. What the fuck? Screw you. Kitchen ghost? I'll fuck you up. Don't do it again. 
That's the second time he does it when I come into the kitchen from the basement. Does it bother you that I go into your basement? Is that it? Hello? That's what? I swear to God. I'm gonna piss in your basement if you don't stop throwing things at me. Okay? Not even kidding. These kind of weird janky indie games sometimes have a piss button. I mean, I haven't looked for it, but don't make me. I tried to go upstairs. The kids' room? Penguins, full moon, computer. That was a voice. Wow, that's great audio. I got 100% audio and photo evidence of the screamer. Okay, that's not good. Uh, that's not a good name. It was good timing, Chino. Oh, fuck me. Good evening. <laughs> oh. That's someone That's coughing. Very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. What's it going, Chino? Could the rack have worked like a child? It works really well, yeah. Oh, 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 fuck. I'll keep that as audio evidence. That was not audio evidence. I saw the ghost. I saw it. I saw a little kid. Is this a different kitchen? Dude, they have a an Xbox Series X or whatever. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Hello? Go on. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Okay. Uh. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Big well so far, how are you? I'm doing fine. Is there anything you'd uh, like now. to tell me? Now. Uh, but I had a pretty fucked up day. Do you like the current family living here? So I'm a little bit tired. Do you like the current family living here? A kid? Is that another room? Oh, a cupboard. Oh, what's that? Is that the most valuable piece of... Uh, whoa, 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 what the fuck was going on there? Incredible. I captured a ghost on film. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was getting taken by the mist. Did you see that? So we could all contact with the current landlord. Everything is set for the new kitchen. Oh my god, it's happening. It's all happening, Chino. Schedule for February to happen. Nice. 
Yeah, that's probably ideal, right? To spend Christmas at home, as we said. You know, the current home. The kid loves this corridor, by the way. these temperatures can I just say that I really really hated the layout of this house this is the second floor it's awful what the fuck is that narrow corridor bunch of doors oh my god They made like anime. How spooky is that? Hello? Is there a little kid around here? Hello? You showed yourself before, show yourself now. Kid? Is there anyone here? Am I alone in this house? Hello? Hello, talk to me. You feel like talking to me? Is this your home? Is this your home? Do you know why I'm here? Keep hearing like Do you steps. Know why I'm here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? We go back to the um to the put to the to the poltergeist. So this house is not just haunted by one ghost. There's like a collection of different ghosts in this place. What'd you say? I'll keep that as audio evidence. What was that? I heard something else. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Is it a feature kitchen room? We need to completely toss out the old kitchen. There needs to be new windows built in so new kitchen will fit. The electrician has to move install new electrical infrastructure and the painter will take care of the entire house by and then the kitchen will be built in. Damn. Lot of work, huh? I'm running into the kitchen. Hello? F I thought that vase was like a fucking ghost or a goblin or something. Why is there a light on down here? Is there someone down here? Hello, this is Connor Stevenson. If you're here, give me a sign. Hello? Basement ghost? I'm recording you. You're on stream. Do something funny. That's extraordinary audio evidence. Okay. Hello? Okay, I don't know what's going on anymore, so I think we're going back. We have a bunch of evidence of stuff. 
I just wish I could have a picture of goddamn private corner. Hang on. Uh, can, can we also refresh the batteries on my flashlight and everything? I feel like... Can't tell, but... I think it may be running out. Alright, private corner. I can already see the flickering light, my guy. Alright, Connor. Honor. Private Connor. Oh, you're here. Honor. Honor. I need a picture of you. Hello? No, it's not gonna get me, Chino. Nope. No, no, no. The very <laughs> Denied. Honor. Private? Private! Present arm! Uh, what was that you said? What, what? I, I don't know how- I don't know military stuff. Connor! For fuck's sake! Come here, show yourself. Drop and give me 20, Connor. Now! <laughs> Phew! Fox or uniform! Connor. <laughs> you understand that, Connor? I swear to God, I'm gonna fuck your radio. Yeah, that's right. Stop me. Try and stop me. If that pisses you off. Connor. You're so dumb, Connor. I don't even know what. Connor, open the door right now. Thank you, Connor. <laughs> All right, my guy. I just no lights off. We talked about this. Okay, we're gonna save money, we're gonna save energy. Turn the light off, Connor. Connor, I said turn the light off, not the door. No, close the door. Turn... Open the door, Connor. Connor? Open the door and come to me. Fuck. Like... Yes, Connor. Um, the light, Connor. The light. Turn the light off, Connor. I'll leave the door open, I swear to God. Connor? Connor, turn the light off. Now. Connor? No, no, no. <laughs> no, shut the fuck up, Connor. Turn, t show yourself. All right, you, you did it before. You can do it again. Oh, you're in trouble, young boy. Stop it. Stop it, Connor. Oh my god, you are so in trouble. I swear to god, Connor, if you don't stop doing that and you don't show yourself, I'm going to exercise you, okay? Do you want to be exercised, Connor? Being a naughty boy, Connor. Do you like the lights on, Connor? I can turn on the lights for you.
Okay. Connor, are you here with me? Connor, you're very pretty, you know that? I want to see your face again. From the moment I saw you the first time, I keep thinking about you, Connor. I need to see you. Stop doing that, I swear to God. I am going to just grab this door. No, shut up. I'm going to grab this door and I'm going to just... Rip it. What the fuck are you doing, Connor? No. Connor? I swear. Oh, fuck you. Oh, you're pissing me off, my guy. I have a gun. Connor. Connor. Connor, what are you doing? Open the door, Connor. Connor, open the fucking door right now. What's the game objective? We're investigating paranormal stuff in um, inside this house. I don't exactly know, like when we have enough evidence. I think I need video evidence of Connor right now. I got. I'm gonna keep being a little prick. Connor is a. <laughs> Connor, I swear to God. Why are you sad now, Connor? Connor, why are you sad? Show yourself, Connor. Don't stop doing that. Connor? Connor, come on, man. I just want to see you once, Connor. Is that so much to ask? Thank you for the light, Connor. Turn that off now. No. I said light off. <laughs> Connor is the opposite of the other girls. Turns the light on instead of off. Connor is big, a little prick, a little menace. He's honestly being more childish than the child ghost. This is supposed to be sort of soldier. Introduced himself as Private Connor. Oh my guy, where are you? Connor? It seems like he's reacting to when I speak to him. Again, I have no idea if this game has some sort of microphone recognition system, but... Connor? You just want me to be quiet and walk slowly, Connor. Alright, Connor, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna take it easy, okay? I'm gonna walk around. Is 
Is it an option to go show yourself as a cheese? I wish. I mean, when I got here, he sh like the first thing he did was showing himself. But I was so shocked that I actually couldn't react in time and I couldn't get the picture. And I was being a shy little fucker. Come on, Connor. I'm on, Connor. Hey, what do you want me to do, Connor? The ghost scary looking? Um, Connor was pretty scary. Yeah, he was like um, like uh, like uh, like some sort of ghoul, like eyes blacked out and stuff like that. But the others, uh, one has been a shadow, and the other been uh, like a transparent little ghost. But this game also has like demons and uh, spookier things. But we are just in the very first map of the game, so. Okay, you know what? Fuck you, Connor. I'm leaving. Going home. I need to review the evidence anyway. Okay, let's see what we got. Got the MF readings. We got the temperature readings. Got a bunch of audio recordings. And we got a bunch of pictures. There we go. 50 XP points earned tonight. Total experience earned. Okay. Lifetime total. Okay. The investigator obtained conclusive evidence on the above mentioned devices. Reporting the fact that this location is haunted. This is an outstanding amount of paranormal evidence for an investigator to obtain in one investigation. Yes, that's good. Yeah. I don't know if that's everything to do in that place, but... Uh, I know there's... What's this? Oh, that's my pamphlet. Okay. Right. Alright, let's go back to the office. Um, let's take a look at the stuff that we found, yeah? So, in the archives, we got... All that provokes activity see oh look we have more owners back in the day connor any family many memories Connor was the owner from 1955 to 1983 the sheets in the carter were, were before that uh connor's suicide what the fuck Committee more suicide. Luis noticed that her son was not the same person after coming back from the war. Robert witnessed the horrible things while he was away at war. He soon was in the thick of horrendous bloody fighting. Once he came home, the trauma was something he could not escape. He was filled with nightly flashbacks with awake and would awake with a feeling of terror, like he was still in the trenches. His family saw the immense blah 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 him. He returned home without many of his friends as they were left behind and buried in the soil of a foreign land. After a few years of being home, he became dependent on habits he could not break away from. His family tried to console him, but ultimately did not alleviate his pain. In 1961, at the age of 37, he gave into the sadness and took his own life in the very garage. Oh, dude. In his father bonded or something. Oh, that's sad. Uh, has anyone uh, of your wisdom teeth removal done? I have to remove one, but and I think I I can I remove another one. No, I don't. No. Only one. Yeah, only one. Which one? Uh, uh, this is the top left. Uh, 
I still have to do it though. I mean, I'm waiting a little bit after the last, you know, mouth experience. Oh, was it? Oh, I didn't remove it yet. I had other teeth removed. Um, <laughs> you know, one very recently because they had to uh, take it away. That was a big molar as well. It's not scheduled yet. I still have to do like my cleaning because my gums are very, um, I'm a little bit inflamed after the last time. And after that, I'm going to have to schedule the, um, the wisdom tooth. But you know, I, I, I'm not, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Like I had teeth removed and it wasn't that big of a deal. I'd be a little uncomfortable because of the position, but... I've scheduled an appointment for removal in mid-November. You never had a tooth removed, uh, don't worry if it's fine, like, you know. If there is no nothing bad underneath, it's just no big deal. They just, you know, anesthetize you and yank it off. <laughs> you shouldn't feel anything. Ask me which one? Uh, all of them? Most people they have to remove all of them. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> call the police report. Incident of September 902. But I called. Received a call from Paul Connor that he found his son hanging in the family's garage. Oh, so they hanged himself. I thought he was shot himself. Upon arriving at the scene, I observed the body hanging in front of the garage door, open track. I mean, the emergency services were no use. I discussed with Paul Connor, blah, blah, blah. He thought he was to blame for what's that because he was always berating his son for being a drunk and needing to get a job. Louise Connor appeared to be in a state of shock, could not communicate. She was not violent and not obscene, but could not be settled down. Bono Byler arrived. She pulled Louise from Robert's body so she could conduct an unseen investigation. Right. And who is this little guy? Liz. Liz. I mean, if we do this, we can investigate Connor, I suppose. All done in one session? Holy crap. You also just said to me to enjoy my favorite breakfast food before coming to be. Yeah, for a couple of days, I probably won't be able to uh, eat much good stuff. We got 50 credits. Okay, so let's take a look at the wiki real quick. Uh, that, you know, Connor looks like a residual ghost. Common spirits who act out the same event over and over, unaware of their surrounding paranormal investigators, are under the impression that these memories are tied to specific events. Okay. Uh, Experts believe they cannot intelligently interact with the environment. This may be why the sounder heard. EVPs can never be obtained. Okay, so no, this guy then, because we did get an EVP from Connor, I think. Or was the EVP from the uh, poltergeist, actually? Most of the locations seem to be inhabited by residual ghosts. This could have frequently not cold spots while investigating this ghost type, and changes in electromagnetic fields also seem to occur. Uh, this seems like the kitchen ghost more than anything else. Once the spirit detachment item has been found and identified, investigators have claimed to use mugwood smudges to release the spirit. Testimonials often consist of acknowledging the spirit presence and allowing one orb of light a respectable distance while smudging the area. Okay. So we can exercise these ghosts. Interesting. Intelligent ghosts. Look at that. 
They're just going to have the capacity to communicate and interact with the living. They usually fall into one or two categories. The first one is people who have passed away and are now spirits who mysteriously linger in the world. After conducting initial research, investigators often determine that the former person has a strong connection to the location. Funding usually indicates that the individual lived in the home for most of their life or passed away suddenly within it. That's Connor. Some investigators witness irregularities in both the EMF and the temperature. EVPs are often obtained after asking questions, sometimes response to manifest as random disembodied voices. It can be very difficult to capture on camera. Smudging with time is believed to help these spirits find peace. Let's see, the second category is shadow people. I mean, do, don't we have like a shadow screamer? Most paranormal investigators believe that these entities left their lives unfulfilled. In a rare number of cases, the resolution of the spirit was identified and achieved, causing the spirit to disappear. One such case was resolved by using juniper smudge sticks. Investigator reported smudging the house with the attachment in the hand. A dark cloud began to envelop the surrounding, and the foul whisper tried to lure them to a location. They followed the whisper and continued to smudge in the area. After a bit of labor, the whispering died away, and the spirit seemed to have been released. Shadow people seem to interact with EMF meters, temperature sensor, and various audio devices. There's a body voices are often recorded. EVP has never been captured. Shadow people seem to be the most photogenic ghost type. Investigators usually have at least one solid shadow person photo. Right. And then we have the poltergeist, which is what's in the kitchen. A noisy spirit. This is show the poltergeist activity starts quietly and gradually increases until the homeowner finds it unbearable. Sometimes noises have no apparent source, other times they come from household items. If you have encountered the poltergeist claim to have been physically harmed by them, I would suggest that these injuries were the result of being startled and were not directly caused by one. Uh, there's two theories on poltergeist. The first one, those are unknown life forms. Uh, the intelligent, there is often no evidence to match a poltergeist to any form of person. EVP evidence is non-existent. I mean, the poltergeist may be unable to use human language. Second theory is just the poltergeist were former people who were unhappy with the owner res the current residents. Okay. But sides of supporting data, the fact that only been determined through these investigations, I should believe that when smudging Rosemary and reciting stanza one three four from the Book of Corpses. Okay, I know that one. Investigators have been able to obtain strange audio from poltergeist antics through the years. Generally, a temperature drop occurs prior to any activity. An EMF spike occur after. Right. Right, right, right. And I don't think we have a demon. So, uh... <clears throat> what's the investigation progress? How do we do that? Okay, as you collect evidence... The progress will be shown on the right side of the screen. Once you capture a picture of a ghost, its profile photo will be displayed. If you have only obtained audio evidence, a silhouette of the ghost will be shown. Audio and video evidence is specific per ghost. I see. Right. Should we get some... Uh, let me see. Location. Evergreen. Okay. So we have the skipping child. Pick up. The shadowy screamer. Huh? Sorry, what did you say? Save me? I don't get it. I don't know what he's saying. Huh? Is that why?
Dude, we have so many screamer tracks. Jesus Christ. Help me! Okay, that was help me. That was clearly help me. GI ghost. <laughs> it's GI ghost. Oh, is that Connor? What the fuck was that? Is that more crying? <laughs> Jesus, Connor. That's why me. I can get that one. Fuck eight. Just me. Just me. Just me. Is this your home? Family. 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 Can you tell me your name? Huh? Private Connor. I see. Ghost in the kitchen. That's the fucking... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Scare the shit out of me. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. Let's go on the slime. Uh, shadowy ghost. Do we buy... A juniper smudge stick. Buy it. I wanna go. Oh, we have a new, a new place. Uh, where's the garage ghost? Garage. And of average build, violent choking sound. Oh, before. The choking sound because he was hanging himself. Jesus Christ. That is rough. I mean, we have a lot of evidence from Connor. Okay, we have a picture of the kid. But we need more audio evidence. We don't have a relic. We don't have a picture of any of these guys. There is someone that has a relic. I guess that's a residual ghost then, right? Which is the man in the house. And I think this is Connor, so we can get more audio evidence from Connor. And definitely some... Um, definitely a picture. Alright. Did I forget in my entire equipment? It seems like the Wentz family isn't worried about them. Although it does seem like they're pretty startled when experiencing something they think is paranormal. I'm sure I'll Please tell me I brought my stuff with me. Okay, I did. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's... There's the juniper sticks, I suppose. Okay. I'm gonna go straight for Connor this time. We're gonna try to get a picture. We need to get a picture. Wait, how do we... Can I check that screen again? The one with the progress for each ghost? Hello, Connor. It's me again. Hi, Connor. Honor. Oi, Connor. So, did he hang himself somewhere around here? Honor.
Hello? Honor my guy? Oh, there's a massive drop. Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. That was a colossal drop. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Right. Okay, so I think that was enough data. So, hi. Hi, Connor. I think once you have um, EMF and temperatures, it doesn't matter where you have them from. They're just like a basic requirement for the, the entire mission, like not just the individual ghost. So they tend to disappear. Connor. Hi, Connor. Hello. Oh, see? See, Connor never gave us uh, an EMF progress bar. I think once you have it in the data, you know, it's done. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Okay. Connor? Connor? What was his first name? I forgot. Mr. Connor? Private, I see. Mr. Connor, can I call you private? I'll keep that as audio evidence. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I gotta go down the list again. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? This guy is very chatty, you know? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? I don't know if I should be doing this here or in the other room. Do you know why I'm here? Wow, that sounded like a response. Holy shit. That is very interesting. Dude, that was the, the, the whole audio evidences. For Connor. I just wanted to talk, my guy. This Connor is just a nice guy, you know? Giving me a bad time, but Connor's just here to talk. We just, we just want the picture, Connor. Mr. Connor, I... I would love to take your picture. We're, we're doing like a, like a piece of um, journalistic investigation and we would like to have you in the cover. And you know, if you show yourself to me, Mr. Connor, I think I can help you. Mr. Connor, I can help you. Show yourself to me. Please. Mr. Connor? Private? Dr. Private Connor? What's that? Connor, please. 
You have no idea. This is this job doesn't pay much, Mr. Connor. I I really need this. I know. I know. Like I really, really need this. So, uh, can, can you just do me a solid, Mr. Cop? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. I think he was right there in the middle of the room. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, dude, I reacted so late because I got, like, I didn't go over it immediately, but I think my brain processed it in a subconscious level, and I just got spooked. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's good, Connor. That's good. Yes. Yes, Connor. Uh, hi. I mean, if you want the light on, I'm gonna leave you the light on, okay? So he's clearly in this room, right? This is it. This is the place. This one is the room. But sometimes it feels like... It only shows up if I'm in this room. How rare to take a photo of a ghost. Got him. Hey. Relic. It's called a relic. So, uh, well, how do we find the relics of these guys? Oh, good boy, Connor, though. Good boy. I just need to find your relic. What's this relic? I don't know. It's like a square thing. Where's sunglasses? Apparently, he died with sunglasses on, probably. I wonder if there's a way to figure it out. Or maybe it's going to lead me to the relic. I, I need to go back to... Um... I need to get back. Hello? Do it. You fucking polter guys, do it. I know you want to. You little bit. That's ex Audio See, that guy has a flask for, um, for relic. Like, I don't know how to find it. I don't know how to look for it. We need a ton of evidence from the kid ghost. Wonder if you can find it just as an item around here somewhere. I mean, you saw how many pieces of evidence we were missing, so the hat's not that big.
I'm gonna turn on the air conditioning. How do I find more evidence for these things? I saw like random pieces of paper, but I can't open drawers, I can't do anything like that. Could be one of these doors as well, like who knows. I heard wow, you, my guy. Great audio evidence. That's not what I'm looking for. This stuff from the upstairs. The little kid. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Oh, that was a kid laughing. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Is it? I don't know what I. I don't know what they recorded. All right, should we ask some questions here in this room? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I don't know which room is the kid's room, you know? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Can I keep asking it around here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Don't say something like me, me, me. <laughs> oh, I hate this bathroom. Was that stuff on the ground last time? Yeah, as you can see, I can't interrupt with like drawers or stuff like that. So I don't exactly know how to find the evidence we're missing. It was? Okay, that's good. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Okay, they clearly don't want to speak with me. God, they have a good Xbox though. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Uh, yeah, I heard something. I don't know where it came from. It's just here in the corridor. Listen, I have everything I need for the spooky shade ghost, right? We have all the evidence. Don't know what the relic is, but maybe they will lead us to the relic once we exercise them. Let me pick that up. A 
How do I use this? How do I use that? Um, just drop something. Yeah, but I don't know how. Drop item is V. Okay. Can I not put this back? Smudging. Smudges are required to release ghosts back to their plane of existence. Specific smudges are used to specific, specific ghosts. This is due to cleansing property smudges and the fact that each ghost is a different type of spiritual energy. So inventory items and corn will need to ensure he has room to pick them up. Uh, embers will begin to, to glow excessively when the ghost is interacting with the smudge. I see. See the releasing tutorial to learn how to proceed from here. Let us smudge with space. We have Juniper, right? Uh, what's the um? What's the tutorial? I don't have the tutorial. I guess I'm just gonna fucking do it. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just gonna do it. All right, Connor, let's see if this is for you. Oh. Oh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, this is nice. I don't know if this is good for um uh, for a guy Connor here. think so so this was for the shadowy figure so let's go back in the house i don't think connor is a, a shadow happened in my got them I don't know if I'm doing anything good here Like this is doing anything. It is getting consumed, though. I can see it going down. Hello? Why are you taking a big fart on me? I think this is working. Hmm. 
Not sure this is right for them, you know. I need to go back. I need to go back and check. I didn't collect any EMF. It's fine. That, that was just for, um, you know. Do you think I already used my junipers now? What do I have them? Oh, I don't think I have. No, I, ha I do have them. Okay. Once you have them, you have them. Cool. So I need to get on the wiki and uh, try to figure out what kind of spirits are we dealing with. Or maybe see a tutorial on the, uh, what was it? Releasing. Once a ghost has begun interacting with your smudge. Okay, so it burns like a lot faster. Oh, it's the relic of the ghost you wish to release on the ground immediately. Yeah, but how do we find a relic? Takes a valuable piece of information that will be added to your cable database on the PC at your office. They also unlock additional related archival cable documentation. Okay. Right. But like, how do I find... Relics. All of the ghosts in New Idolon have attached themselves to relics a lot, allowing them to haunt a location. It is important to obtain the relic of a particular ghost if you would like to release them for more to play. Once the outline of the relic is visible on the ghost profile, you will be able to find the item next time you visit the location. A relic will produce EMF until you pick it up. Oh, okay. Serves to validate a mundane object having spectral energy. Relics are inventory items, therefore you must have space on your belt to pick it up. Once obtained, the relics will be allowed to be removed from the location once attached to a ghost. Bring the relic to a museum, ensure it is in your inventory when you finalize your investigation. I see, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Once the ghost has begun interacting with your smudge, place the relic of the ghost you wish to release on the ground immediately. Essential intelligent and poltergeist ghost will produce visual audio effects guiding you to the next smudging area. As you reach the side areas with the smudge burning, a dialogue box will open. You will need to choose the correct words for Conrad to say. Smudging various areas and choosing the correct words for Conrad to say, eventually the ghost will be released from the mortal plane. If you return the relic to the location or forgot to bring it back to the office with you, the ghost will return to the house. We know this process is occurring because the relic cannot be taken back to your office. Let's see. Well, I mean. Which one is the relic one then? Is it all of them? Uh. Spirit attachments item has been found and identified. Investigator have claimed to use multiple smudges. Okay. So maybe they are residual ghosts. Okay, and for a residual ghost we need let's see. Mugwort. Buy it. Okay, we can buy another one just in case. Intelligent ghost. Uh, we know the Shadow Ghost has a hip flask, yes, and the soldier has some sort of lock of something, maybe it's a note. Or maybe it's like a metal box or something, I don't know. I would be better prepared with a few more notes. But, oh yeah, but look at that. Is that a picture though? I mean, it does, it does say I took the picture. Hang on, let me let me get the notes first. 
for the other two ghosts because if I can exercise those two, I'm gonna take uh, the rest out. Okay, so. Uh, child and the, the poltergeist. And Liz. Oh, wait, we found something else. Liz. Elizabeth Carter. Thomas Carter. Parents, guardian, liminalis. Acute pulmonary tuberculosis. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, that could be good for uh, hunting the remaining ghosts. Very good. Okay, so we're going to try to exercise the two we know are there and we have things for. And then we're going to get on to the... Oh, wait, we can't... Yeah, no, exactly. We're going to exercise these two and then we're going to try to get more evidence for Liz and the poltergeist. All right. We have a plan. See if we can do it. This is good, though. Like It seems like the Wentz family... For a single-player sort of phasmophobia kind of game, it's it's pretty good. There's a little bit of story, you know. It seems a little bit more involved than your usual games of that sort. I appreciate that. Okay, we need the... Okay, we actually don't need... These two. Oh, maybe we need that. I don't know. But we need the EMF reader. And uh, I don't know which one is which. Lodging, I know. Is this mugwort? Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Alright, Connor. We are looking for an object, something that Connor needs. It should have EMF values. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. Hmm. Probably gonna be in the house though, I'm guessing. Right? They did say it will become interactable once you can do something about it, so... We should be able to do something about it now. Unless we need, I don't know, an extra key to get into those rooms that are locked. I don't know why I feel like we need the key. Fuck. The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Maybe looking for these things in the light of day, maybe?
But like, how do I... I find these things. I really don't know how to find these things. I have a feeling they might be in those rooms that we can't access. Could they be in a different map? Why would they be in a different map? Make any sense? Hello? I got the kid. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. I got the kid. So next time we come back, we can actually identify the kid and try to exercise it man i really like confirmation that i'm looking in the right places you know i mean i'm wasting my time maybe I'm trying to find an object that's not in this map but why wouldn't it be here I mean, where else would they be? They did say they would highlight the items, but... Oh man. Is this like gonna be a tiny, tiny item in a corner that we can't see? That was the fucking poltergeist. Oh, what's this? Uh, a deed of land. Okay. That was not there last time, was it? Do, do you think we have to find all information about all ghosts before the items can appear? So there is can spawn somewhat randomly, but usually in the areas where you see the ghost. Right. That would make sense, yeah. I mean, I would guess that whatever it is...
be here somewhere. I mean, this area is not that big, so... around the thing what would be around Connor would you give me a hand on this one like I I'm trying to help you here but don't know what you <clears throat> relic all the ghosts have attached themselves to relics allowing them to haunt the location it's important to obtain it Okay. Relics are inventory items. The four once obtained relic will be allowed to remove. Okay. okay. All right, Connor. I'm doing it. Don't know if this is the right stick, honestly. <laughs> I'm not sure this is the right stick, Connor. So bear with me while I try to figure out, uh, because the game doesn't tell me by the name. So I think I have to figure it out by looks, and I'm not sure what I'm looking at right now. I know, Connor, I know. I'll go grab the other one, Connor, just wait for me, okay? So I picked up this one. I don't know which one I need to pick up. <laughs> There's no names on these things. I got, can, I, can I see? I can't see the freaking menu again, can I? Uh, do you remember which one is? Of, I'm gonna get this one. This seems different. <laughs> I'm such a bad ghost hunter, man. Did Connor close the garage door? Connor? Alright, Connor. Wow. 
the video relic. Once the stick starts to burn faster, I have to put the relic on the ground. It's what they said. <laughs> I know, Connor. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing either, but just bear with me. I'm gonna go grab this other stick, Connor. <laughs> oh, god damn it. It's the one I had originally. But last time I didn't have the relic, so maybe it wouldn't activate? Either that, or I just fucked it up and I don't have the right stick. They not like the door open? Maybe the smoke's getting out. I don't know. Well, these are intelligent ghosts, and I don't have the right much stick. Connor, I release you from your mortal coil, Connor. Connor, <laughs> you want to, uh, you want to leave this plane, Connor? Do, do you want to find eternal peace? Connor? Connor? Do I have to go back home? Connor. What if I put this around there? Hi, right, Connor. Want to leave this place or not? I know, Connor. I know. I'm trying to help you, okay? Just don't know what you want from me.
I uh, have the right smudges, maybe. Oh, you know what? That's that's fine. We have all the evidence from the kid, and now we can even get more stuff for the poltergeist in theory. So. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Alright. Boy, oh boy. I don't f that that. <laughs> I was like, where's the house? <laughs> the house is gone. All right, look, uh, we don't have that one, but we do have the one for. We do have the flask. I don't entirely know where this guy's going to be, but I'm going to just light one of these sticks and see if it works or not. So I do have the flask. If he's in the basement. That's a problem. I don't know where he's supposed to be. I also don't exactly know how uh, the stick is supposed to look when it's burning right. I mean, from the picture on the, in the tutorial screen, it looked like there were like little bits of flames popping out of the thing. But also, if um, if this guy's a shadowy figure, maybe it's the other. Stick. Maybe. I truly don't know. Like, I don't think I have a, an easy way to identify these different ghosts. I think this is the first one I ever bought. I mean, it, it does call the ghost like a shadowy screamer, so I'm guessing it's a shadow figure. So this should be the right one. Emphasis on the should. Oh! Oh, it's doing it. It's doing it. Where is it? It's here, it's here, it's here. Is it? No, it's upstairs. It's the kitchen. It's absolutely the kitchen. Okay, so now we drop this on the ground. And then we start smudging again. 
Fuck. Which ghost are you trying to communicate with? I think it's the sheets. Or was it Bennett? No, it was not sheet. I lost my train of thought. It was not sheets. Fuck. Well, it's gone. <laughs> well, we lost them. Alright, we don't have enough information on this ghost then. We knew who Connor was. Or maybe we don't have the right stick for Connor then. Guess I need to ask more questions to that ghost. Now that I know he's in the kitchen, but is he going to be in the kitchen still now? Or do you think he's gone now? I pissed him off. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Can you tell me your name? 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 Damn it. I think we fucked it. I don't hear any more footsteps, voices, or anything. I think he's gone. Okay. Well, uh, let's try to investigate the kid at least. Do you get one shot per visit? Maybe, yeah. Per ghost, probably. I'm guessing one shot per ghost. So... Uh, should we try and figure out the kid? See? He's here. That's ex Extraordinary audio evidence. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? We need to get the name of this kid. I, know, I mean, I think we know it's Elizabeth. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Why are you here? Why are you here? Don't respond to EVP, doesn't mean they're not intelligent. <clears throat> Good question. Do you like the current family living here? It might be a residual. Do you like the current family living here? Is this your home?
Is this your home? So the, that means that Connor is probably an intelligent ghost, right? He answered multiple times. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? How many people are here other than me? This fucking kid, though. <clears throat> At least we know who the kid is. How many people are here other than me? Ask them about Digimon to get any ghost talk. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works with a ghost from the 1912s. Don't exactly know where she's supposed to be. I know she's upstairs around here somewhere, but not sure if she has like a specific room. It just seems like it comes with the bathroom, but that's impossible, right? Surely that's not possible. Do you know why I'm here? Even better, you can introduce them to Digimon Lord. That will definitely get them talking. Do you know why I'm here? I don't know, man. Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? All right, fuck this kid. I'm leaving. I, I, it's almost time I actually leave the stream. I want to at least get one ghost exercised. Okay. So I'm going back. I'm going to find out who the fuck that ghost is. The shadowy figure. And then, uh, then, well, I don't know. <laughs> something. Something, 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 profit. Uh, you have to get temperatures, though. Or I'm not going to get paid enough to buy the next item. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. This goes. Fuck. Where are you? Little girl? Elizabeth? Elizabeth, show yourself. Give me a sign, Elizabeth. Come on, do something. Does she have a relic too? She does now, yeah, I unlocked it. Oh, this is cold. Down here is cold for some reason. I was getting something down here. Oh. Hmm. These temp readings are unusual. Right. There is something down here.
Um, my temperature of the basement is 17. Upstairs is 20-ish. Oh. What? It was dropping for a second. Oh. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. Hello? Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Okay, I think we got the paranormal readings. Got the paranormal EMF as well. Um, I'm going out, by the way. I'm leaving. I spooked a ghost into <laughs> just going away. That is so sad. Oh, man. All right. Well, we got EMF readings, got the temperatures. We got some audio from the kid. And no pictures. That's fine. As long as there's enough points for me to buy something. I think I don't have enough points. I think I'm one off. I am literally one point off. Oh, look, we're collecting the documents. Oh my God, and look at the pictures. The proof we needed. There he is. Dude, this is kind of cool. We're making a museum for the for our cases. That is kind of neat. I like that. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at the database real quick. So, intelligent ghosts. EVPs are often obtained by them. And then we have the shadow people. So they are both technically intelligent ghosts. What did I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Time. See, that's what we need. We need time. And I don't have that. That's what we need for uh, for um, for Connor. Connor is a first category intelligent ghost. And the guy, the Shadow Screamer, is a second category ghost. Intelligent ghost. And then we have a Poltergeist. I don't know what the kid is going to be. The kid sounds to me like she's a residual. I need his name. Well, I don't have it. Um... 41 credits, okay, so... I got the Mugwort, I got the Juniper, and I got the Time. Wait. Wait. So the red one is the Mugwort. The blue one is the Juniper, which was the one that was working on... Um, on the Shadow Ghost. The time is the one that should have worked. On Connor, but it wasn't working though. So I did have this. It was the purple one. We also should have a new... Yeah, there we go. Built in 1902. Carter. William Carter, I think, was the ghost. Uh, I was notified a loud shouting heard from the farmland near back Blackridge Woods. 
I drove to the residence. I approached the residence, saw two men shouting. One man was in overalls and was clutching what looked to be a bottle. The other man was wearing a long white coat and appeared to be a doctor. I identified these men as William Carter and Miles Willis, doctor. When I saw Mr. Carter swing and hit Dr. Willis over the head with a bottle, I grabbed him by the coat collar, proceeded to yell at him. Uh, after exiting my vehicle, immediately detained Mr. Carter, who remained cooperative, I took a statement from both parties, blah, blah, blah. Uh... After a few vulgarities regarding the lack of remedy and his children's illness, he eventually broke down and cursed himself for drinking and overworking while his children suffered for consumption. Ultimately, no charge was filed. Okay. It seems like we have all the documents now. That's Connor. We have everything from Connor. Okay. And um, get the, the, the email. We really have the child, so it's just going to be about the kitchen items now. Okay, I'm going back in right away. I should have everything. I need to exercise one ghost. Look, we even have the relic, and then we have like a what looks like a notepad for the kid. I'm going for fucking Connor, man. I want to save Private Connor. It seems like the. Can we save Private Connor, please? All right, I want the recorder. I want. Uh, the purple. The time. Unfortunately, I. Okay, the flask is right there. So hopefully the um, the other one is also right where we left it. I mean, where we found it, which is not there anymore. Okie doke then. Well, now at least I know what I'm looking for. No, it's a little red square patch. But where would it be now? Oh. Okay. All right. Okay, we got it. Right. Connor? This is for you, my man. Connor? Why is Connor not reacting to this? Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Lay down. Oh! Oh! Where the fuck did it go? Connor? Which ghost are you trying to communicate with? Paul Connor, Robert Connor. Paul Connor, I think. I it was not Paul Connor. <laughs> what do you mean he was not Paul Connor? Oh my god. Oh god. Fine. I'll do the other one. God damn it, dude. I can't believe that. I let him down. Private Connor. I thought he first his first name was Private. I How was I supposed to know? William Carter, William Carter, William Carter, William Carter, William Carter. William fucking Carter. William Carter. 
I would like to acknowledge William Carter's presence. What is the spirit attachment? The flask. You tried to drown your pain with alcohol, but could never free your guilt over the passing of Elizabeth and Thomas. What was this spirit? Grief upon death. Ah. Uh... Probably not vindication. Guilt or melancholy? Guess guilt? I felt guilty for not helping the kids. I believe you did everything possible to try and save them. You must let go of the pain that caused you to lose your life. The rest of the family is at peace waiting for you. It is time for you to go and be with them. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, we saved one. I did it. I did it. Think I actually exercised the ghost. I should make sure this relic is on me when I leave. Yep. Take it. Where is it? Amazing. I did exercise a ghost. Okay. So, uh, if I am correct now... The kid is a residual, so let's quickly go upstairs, see if we can find the relic. Should be some sort of notepad. And then try to exercise her. Although I'm not entirely sure if she's a residual, so I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't even know her name technically. I don't know. I think she's Elizabeth. Oh, there it is. Not sure about the stick. I mean, it is definitely one of the sticks we have. Uh, what the fuck did I do? I put the stick right there. Uh, it seems like it's this one. Unless it's not in this room. But no, she's she's upstairs. So it's not this stick. Well, she's not a shadowy figure, so she must be an intelligent ghost like the, um, like Carter. Sorry, not Carter, like, um, what's his name? Like Connor. Surely.
Although, to be fair, uh, the look of the kid was a bit, you know, ghostly, as in transparent or a little shadowy. She didn't look as corporeal as good old Private Connor was. Maybe she also is a ghost? Like a, a shadow ghost? I mean, this isn't working, so... Guess? I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, it's gonna be on the house, you know? It's a lovely thyme-flavored incense stick, basically. I'm sure they will love it. Who doesn't love their house smelling like burnt grass, anyway? Okay. Hey, maybe I can see her. It's not that kind of way that people are burning. Dude. People are desperate enough they are burning all kind of weed, okay? Including these ones. I have most definitely heard of people smoking all sorts of different things. I don't think this is working. I'm gonna put this here, kid. I'm gonna go back for another one. I still think she's a residual. I don't know. Maybe I got the place wrong. I don't think she ever asked answered the question. Oh, maybe we can only exercise one ghost per run? Gonna have to come back for the kid. How's house doesn't seem very quiet now. Yeah, right? I don't hear the child at all. So maybe we can only do one at a time. Alright, you know what? It's, it's kind of late. It's fair. I gotta leave this here as well. I love it. I've done what I wanted though. I exercised one ghost. I feel fulfilled for today. I didn't get anything, but there is one more thing now. Look at that. Spirit release the shadowy screamer. Damn, dude. Amazing. Mission accomplished. Let's take a look. There it is. The flask. Alright, well, um, that is... Uh, that was... Th just the first level. This game has many levels. I think it has at least... Four or five. And there's all sorts of ghosts and spooks... There's like demonic um, d demons to exercise, so I know there's like cult activity. 
There's all sorts of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to come back to this. And try to... Well, obviously, I'm going to try to get the other ghost exercise. But we can also take a look at the next mission and the next map next time. I'm pretty sure the second one was the church. Not entirely sure, but yeah, we'll see. All right, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Spooky, but not dangerous for now. <laughs> not dangerous for now, but you can die. Demons can kill you. I guess because we didn't have a demon. Uh, it was safe. I think the first level is mostly a tutorial. But once we get into demons, oh, we can die. We can die. <laughs> to the pale horse of death. Photograph taken in December 1973. Wasn't that the when The Exorcist came out? I think that's when The Exorcist came out. <laughs> nice. That's a little cameo. But yeah, uh, that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I will be back tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, I, I'm getting close to the point where uh, I need like a little um, a little break. So uh, maybe this week I'm gonna take a day off or something. But yeah, um, yeah, that's it for today. Have a good day. Have a good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ooh.